Hello, good afternoon. There are calls for the Home Secretary to be sacked after she went on the attack against the Metropolitan Police, accusing them of playing favourites when it comes to controlling protests. In an opinion piece for The Times, Swala Bravman doubled down on her views ahead of a pro-Palestinian march planned for Armistice Day this weekend. Well, it's emerged that Number 10 did not fully sign off the article before it was published. And in the last few minutes, the Prime Minister's spokesman said that Rishi Sunak has full confidence in Ms Braverman. Well, our political editor, Beth Rigby, joins me now from Westminster. Um, Beth, uh, Westminster watchers will say the phrase full confidence uh, is usually the kiss of death for any minister. Well, Jane, I was just listening in to that uh, briefing for journalists from the Prime Minister's official spokesperson, uh, and it was not comfortable uh, listening uh, if the Home Secretary had indeed tuned in, because uh, while the Prime Minister's spokesperson kicked off saying that he had full confidence in the Home Secretary, this wasn't uh, one of these press briefings uh, where uh, the official spokesman sought to play down any splits. Indeed, he was was absolutely clear uh, that this uh, article had to be, quote, the Prime Minister's spokesman, not been cleared uh, by number 10. Uh, and when he was asked whether the Prime Minister agreed the content of Suella Braverman's opinion piece in The Times, he said the content was not agreed with number 10. Uh, there were then a series of questions about uh, whether she broke the ministerial code, was there going to be a formal investigation? And on all of this, uh, the Prime Minister's official spokesperson uh, took what I would describe as a holding position, saying that there is a process looking into what happened, wouldn't be drawn on the ministerial code, but uh, rather ominously said there might be a further update later. So I have to say, Jane, I mean, ever since this landed uh, late last night, uh, there has been uh, a lot of anger around it. Uh, many former cabinet ministers contacted me uh, saying that they're shocked by some of the content. Uh, I was told that um, there is lots of disquiet being fed back uh, to the whips. I've been told that the whips aren't even trying to defend uh, Suella Bravman over this article. And there's concern amongst MPs that she, in doing, in writing this article, she has undermined uh, the police ahead of the march, that she has uh, undermined uh, the relationship between the Conservative Party and uh, the DUP over some of her remarks over Northern Ireland in the article. Uh, but the Prime Minister is now in a position uh, where his authority looks like it's being challenged. And in this press briefing, uh, the Prime Minister's official spokesperson was also asked, uh, does the Prime Minister think the Home Secretary respects his authority? And the answer was a simple yes. But of course, the question here is, this is a Prime Minister now under pressure from opposition parties to sack Suella Bravman over these remarks, which many of her own MPs and his own MPs would say were inflammatory and undermined policing over the weekend. Um, so he's been called uh, to sack her. But then if he does sack her, it looks like he's been bounced by opposition parties. And if he doesn't sack her, uh, some of his own P MPs are saying to me it shows that he is too weak to move her out of position. Uh, and the big picture in all of this, Jane, is you will remember when the Prime Minister stood on the steps of Downing Street just over a year ago, promising a government of accountability, uh, professionalism and integrity. The Home Secretary ever since then has been a thorn in his side over these matters. Now a number of MPs saying that she is simply out of control and we wait to see how the Prime Minister will respond. What I think is clear from the press briefing uh, from his official spokesperson uh, this morning is he definitely isn't uh, agreeing with this and trying to make it go away. So I think we've got to watch uh, this space to see how it develops uh, today. We haven't seen uh, the Home Secretary uh, this morning. There was an urgent question in, in the House of Commons. As I understand it. She is uh, with a family member at the moment. Uh, so she, we haven't seen her yet. Um, but I think this story has some way to run today.